and uh, Giles playing as incredible, and it's uh, and you know up until I started talking, the energy was. <laughs> This was just about to take off, and I thought we'll put a stop to that. Um, so I don't know, I've ended up on this stage, um, which is something I intend to continue doing main stages at festivals. Uh, I think it's definitely the appropriate environment for my... <laughs> for my particular brand of hyper... hyper... <laughs> I think he's a nice cunt. What? <laughs> is it a family festival, by the way? Because there's one thing about being on the main stage is uh, my music comes with a, a tacit kind of agreement between my audience and I that I can say anything I want quite angrily. Um, uh, so I don't really know what to do about that because lots of kids in the audience. But I always think, look, if you're with your parents at a lovely festival, you're probably not going to be in a knife gang anyway. And my, my, my being mean about the Pope is not going to change <laughs> okay, that. Was a, that was a test. We'll see if we get to that. For now, I'm going to do a new song. It seems, again, perhaps counterintuitive to try out new material uh, in the main stage of an outdoor comedy festival, but I am... Um, I think it's important to try out new material on large numbers of people. I've got a lot of friends, comedians and musicians alike, who try out material in small clubs. They don't understand statistics, the possibility of rendering a false negative or false positive reaction to the data set that small is ridiculous. I would never try it. I mean, the p-value, think about it. Huh, interesting. P-value! P-value! interesting, you know, doing p-value jokes usually quite risky at the best of times. Even in a comedy club, but it is, I, I mean, that's very impressive. Usually, if I do a p-value, does rock. Well, it depends what the value is. I think mostly if you try it out a p-value joke, you have a bit of trouble, because the 90% of people who aren't hopeless statistics nerds don't know what you're talking about, and the 10% of people who don't know what I'm talking about probably know enough to know that I don't actually know what I'm talking about. But anyway, this is, um, this is a song I wrote. I, I, look, you'll have to excuse me. I've got to put the lyrics and the chords out there because I, I wrote it ages ago. I don't even really remember writing it, but I always think it's good to drag out a few, you know, old 